good morning. I was awkwardly crouched down behind the door then. I thought that's quite weird. Andy, come in. Not meant to film a video today, but Andy just turned up and he's insisting on filming, so we'll just see what happens. On a side note, Andy, think fast. That's literally it. That's got Marrow's actual food. Nice. I appreciate that. In the gym that. yesterday, it's been in the bottom of the bag for like 24 hours, so. We're basically just gonna film the day, okay? So this is a combination of, we didn't have another video to make, and I just thought it would be interesting. Like a lot of my videos are just me doing something for a day, or eating a certain food, or lifting a certain way. I thought it would be good just to like, have a normal day. Like, or literally like a realistic what I do, like from day to day. Could be boring and suck, but you've started watching it now, so you might as well see it through. Oh, on a side note, Andy said, this is my alarm. I, I, set a, I set alarms for like all reminders. It's extremely, it is actually extremely useful. On a side note, Andy said that if you don't like this video and subscribe to my channel, he'll find your address, come to your house, and while you're asleep, just murder all of your pets with his bare hands. Didn't you, Andy? Yeah. And yeah. that's actually out of order. So yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit RSPCA. Hard. Is this normal? <laughs> Why does it, if you're a plumber, can you explain why it does that? I don't we understand. Did last time. Is, is our house about to explode? So on the agenda today, the only things we have actually planned are we need to train. I mean, is that it? Anything else we have to plan? I figure we'll just do stuff. So Mara's asleep upstairs and Luca's gone swimming with Sears' dad. Who's definitely, if you are an OG, you've been around for more than a couple of years, you'll remember Sears' dad making a few cameos. Uh, he's gonna be back in the video today at some point. He's an absolute goon. You're gonna regret that. Yeah, you're gonna, gonna regret. The second he comes in, I'm gonna regret getting him involved. Okay. So I'm getting a massive bowl. You may think, Matt, that's not an appropriate size cereal bowl. Guess again. I'm having Cocoa Pops, which are extremely voluminous. You get a small bowl and you fill them up with these. You pour the milk in, they go in. You put the, like, you get it where you fill the bowl and the second your spoon breaks the seal, they just go everywhere and it's incredibly annoying. Get a massive wide bowl, bigger surface area, problem solved. So what's also real, we're real, is that we definitely have too much cereal for this cupboard. Absolutely essential point to note, the Morsia 90 day transformation challenge entries close tomorrow. So as of this video going live, you've got 24 hours to enter. We're gonna pick five winners. Uh, it could be you wanna build some muscle, it could be you wanna lose some fat, it could be that you just wanna get in the best shape of your life, start training consistently for the first time. Wherever it is, you have a chance of winning. We'll pick five of you. We're gonna give away 5,000 pounds, mate. Five, Andy, can you believe that? 5,000 pounds? Yeah. And he's, and he's entered like seven times already. Uh, we're also gonna give away loads of other cool stuff like clothing, supplements, earbuds, etc. So top link in the description. Go and sign up to the 90 day challenge. Make your life significantly better. Have an amazing time. Get an incredible shape for the summer and win loads of money. You literally can't afford not to. And you just told me he ordered the new camera and it arrived today. He hasn't got it though. He's using a lesser version. So if you are annoyed, at the quality of this video not being quite as good as it could be, then just comment below. Andy, you're an absolute melt. Sort your life out. You pathetic weasel. Abuse. That was a bit, <laughs> that was a bit hard. Why did you sign up for this job? <laughs> us working hard. It says you never sit there by the way. It says never sits there. This is an unrealistic reflection of our life. Also, th this is legit. This is my office. That I've been using this this very seat and this setup to work for the last like three years. Apart from lockdown where you cleared it out for a gym. That's true, yeah. But yeah, the new place, mate. The new house, my office is gonna be the sickest thing. I'm gonna, I think I showed you in the video, but I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. Like my office is gonna be the best place ever. I literally, there's so many elements of the new house that I'm excited for. The office is definitely in the top But three. the main thing of the office is you wanna wheel yourself around on a wheelie chair. Yeah, so the that whole downstairs it. of my house is gonna be just that kind of polished concrete. I'm gonna have an abundance of wheelie chairs. One in particular I'm gonna modify so it can just go extremely fast. Might make it motorized, we'll see, but. That's gonna be the sickest thing. Just tearing around the bottom floor of our house on a wheelie chair. That's the dream. Good morning. My name is Mauro, and I am a tiny child who wakes up all night. He actually sleeps pretty well, but last night it was on a mad one. That was like his worst night in like a month, I reckon. Maybe it's because he had been jabbed. 
Maybe he was getting hyped for the video. He has like one expression, which is just like, yeah, confusion slash shock, just all the time. Mara has like a very limited window where he's like awake and happy, then he'll start getting annoyed and tired and hungry and stuff, so let's, let's capitalize on that. Where should we go? Mara, mate. This. Let's get your arm in the sleeve. And he's ready. His arm is not, <laughs> arm is not in this sleeve at all. Put your hands up if you were in a perfectly fitted snowsuit. So, two things. Firstly, Luca is finishing swimming any minute now, so we might try and intercept him. Secondly, there's like a cool cafe around here, so we might get like a coffee slash cake, although the weather's not ideal, so we might just stack that off. Can I get like a decaf latte, please? The people sat there having a coffee in, these, in this weather, like what, as if they're enjoying that. Like right now, that guy is not having a good time. Is like the windiest place on the planet. It's not even that windy today. Just go to the seafront and you're immediately hit by this absolute hurricane. Luca! Why is there a weird guy filming us? Good night. Do you want to try some of my caramel pecan brownie? Yeah. Try them? Yes, I'll watch this quickly. Luca, have a small bite, okay? <laughs> right, that's not a small bite. Good? It's actually sick. It's got like, you see, it's got like a layer of caramel in the middle. Yeah. This is the best thing that's happened today so far. Okay, so we need to go training now. When I say we, I mean me, because Seth has got to feed Mauro. I'm going to deadlift today, so I'm going to put my leggings on. i probably pull these up. Look at that, mate. <laughs> I mean, they're women's leggings. That's the one element that's kind of identifiable as not for men. Oh, right, so today I'm going to deadlift. I'm going to do like volume deadlift, so sets of seven, pretty light. The plan, after missing the deadlift the other day. Uh, I've decided that I want to have a, at least a little time, a little bit of time where I focus on deadlifts because for the last year I've been squatting heavy and frequently and so what that means is that I always end up deadlifting after squatting so that obviously has a big knock-on effect plus just the cumulative volume of squatting and deadlifting twice a week is just obviously quite a lot so I'm going to dial the squatting right back and just focus as much as I can on my deadlifts with the hope of just smashing that big 320. Get the 320 then I'll just retire from training completely and just take up like a snooker or something. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go 220 kilograms for three sets of seven. So the RP is low, but that's always the case for these volume sessions, just about getting the reps in. There's actually a misconception, I think, about deadlifting, but training as a whole. I think people have a tendency to keep the RP too high, i.e. just kill themselves. And when you're trying to get strong, there's lots of studies that have shown that the faster you're moving the bar, within reason, obviously the higher the force production, and force production leads to strength gains, right? So what it basically means is, if you work at an RP10 and you're grinding out reps, the actual force production is quite low and therefore doesn't carry over to, to getting stronger. So if you can work in a, in a lower kind of RP range, like I said, maybe the six to eight, for example, the bar speed's higher and therefore that should facilitate you getting stronger. Last week, I absolutely mashed my wall. Well, I dropped the bar. No, I, I loaded the bar, didn't put collars on, and when I dropped it, at 15 fell off and just ploughed into my plaster, so that's upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> Done. It was good, decent, productive, solid 8 out of 10. Uh, we need to get some lunch now. I can't bother to make anything, so we're going to head up to Cess's mum's and force them to make me something. We are here at the hub of food, better than our house. 
Um, so, basically, some context. It is National Sandwich Week, right? So I've got to do a story for Muscle Foods. Ipso facto, Mark's gonna make me the greatest sandwich the world has ever seen. Uh, the ingredients are ready. Mark, you excited for this? Absolutely excited. Okay, let's, let's begin. And the world's greatest slash biggest slash ingredient dense sandwich is here. Like it's friggin' monstrous, look at that bad boy. So we've got like sausage, pastrami, various other like meat based ingredients from Muscle Food and then just loads of other stuff. Uh, before I absolutely decimate this, we need to get some images to go on my story. You gotta go back a bit. You don't fit in. Hang on, just see. That's actually pretty sick, you know. Yeah? Yeah, man. If you are experiencing some high level sandwich envy right now, then there is a link to Muscle Food in the description. Go and use that link, go and buy some incredible food and then just absolutely fill your boots. Right, how, how like as if, like how am I gonna even begin to try and eat this? What are you saying? Give me some advice, Andy. What would you do if you were in my shoes right now? Straight in the middle. What do you mean, how? Like, I might, like my mouth is not that high, mate. Don't spear yourself on the olives. That bite was predominantly bread, if I'm, if I'm honest. <laughs> Get yeah. a cut bit away from you right now. Yeah. Cut it in half. Let's do a shout out <clears throat> There's egg in there as well. As much as you're probably enjoying just watching me awkwardly eat this sandwich, probably just catch up with you later on. Sandwich is done. That was uh, hard. <laughs> that took a good amount of chewing. We've got some like low key jaw cramp. Well, now I'm going to quickly head over the road because uh, Luca is with Sears' dad and they're at his allotment and like. It's just, I don't know, it's an absolute mess, but generally I think funny things happen over there. So let's go and see what's happening. So when Luca, hang, when, when Luca hangs out upstairs his dad, it's one of those things where like, I don't want to know what's happening because it's probably not great. In terms of like hygiene, hygiene levels aren't a priority. Okay, welcome to the allotment. Ooh, right, Andy, nice give us the here. quickest tour of your allotment ever. Three, two, one, go. Seed trays over here, our strawberries. Luca, where's your shed design? So they're going to build Luca a shed. So where's your shed from, Dad? Somewhere around here. Okay. Come and show us your design. This. <laughs> oh, so this is a shed and it has a hydra coming out the top. Yeah, yeah, it's a big sculpture of a hydra. You're going to have that coming and out of the shed. And how many heads has it got? Seven. Just quickly, is that to scale? Okay, so the, how big is the shed going to be? Like that big? And the how hydra's going to be yeah. like the trees. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. That's okay. what you said. Okay, Luca, what's this bit? What's that? And that's the core. The claw, okay. Cool. That's good. Luke has, got, Luke has got into a habit of drawing phallic elements to his like <laughs> monsters. We're trying to we're trying to cut down on that. See what I said about the we hygiene have all the thing. Mod cons here. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely. It's, I, like, I don't want to. I don't want to know this is happening. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather just pretend. La, 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 la. Literally in the. It's just completely open. Literally, like. We don't need any air fresheners. <laughs> it's a toilet. Okay, let's just Thank go. Let's just go. <laughs> We are heading back home. Sears is uh, hanging back at her mum's to feed Mauro. I need to head over to the new house in a sec because the guys, they're either there now or they finished. They're like removing asbestos from one of the rooms uh, and like maybe like an outside bit. So I need to go make sure that it's all done and that like no one's died, I guess. All oh, right. Andy, first time seeing the house. Completely finished. Welcome to the future. What? I'm what blown away. Open plan, airy. Accessible boiler, so that's convenient. Toilet as well, two in one. Not messing around. Okay, so the asbestos area is down here. I mean, should we even come in the room there? <laughs> I know what the asbestos rules are, but I think Jeremy just avoid it. Basically, this whole ceiling here was just was one massive thing of asbestos. I think. But I think the problem was they came, they removed it, and whilst they were removing it, if they found more outside, so they had to come back to do. Ah, uh, is it hidden? Yeah, that's where it is. Pretty stupid because that's a, is that the, the same ceiling, right? Yeah. That ceiling goes the whole way along here. So they came and tested it and removed that, but then obviously realised it came out here as well. Um, yeah, so they had to come back and do that. But it's gone now. We are asbestos free, which is good because they if they'd started if the whole team had turned up for the real build and they found asbestos, that would have been like game over, which would have been incredibly inconvenient. Let's go take. How exciting is it that like in a month or two this is actually going to be like being built, like it's going to be game on. 
If you're excited for the greatest house build series of all time on YouTube, drop this video a like. Oh my god, that is the sketchy stool. Um, okay, that was good. The weather is lovely, and by lovely I mean windy and rainy. Let's go and get a coffee or something. It's like a yellow and black line. I feel like I shouldn't go past that. Right, well, thanks a lot, dude. Appreciate it. All good. Have See a good you day. Later, you Thank too. You. Okay, Luca is having like a nap. So I say nap when I mean, he doesn't sleep now, he just has like an audiobook time. He just has like an hour where he chills out in his room, listens to something. Uh, Sarah's is still at her mum's, I don't know what she's doing, that was not part of the plan. I've got some like admin type stuff to do, like I have, to be honest, like I say this is a realistic day, realistically I will spend like a good number of hours just sat literally here on my Mac or on my phone doing stuff. I figured like I need to do something because I can't, <laughs> that's going to be a pretty boring video, right? So but I'm going to get some stuff done uh, and then when Sears gets back we will see what the plan for the rest of the day has in store, does that make sense? We'll just carry on. Order of work, it is now uh, fruit and vegetable time, aka my one window of the day where I just cram in as much fruit and veg as I can. Sarah's gets really annoyed when I do that. Here is, this is my five a day, right? Not all of, not like, like a, I'm gonna get a portion of that. Portion of blueberries, portion of grapes. That's actually too many tomatoes. I need seven, I think. Seven to put that one back. I'm assuming you're doing vegetables first. I'm just gonna go freestyle. Oh, is that a moldy blueberry? How has that got in there? Why is that? Why is it also, how's that even happened? Why is it furry? <laughs> What constitutes one of your five a day in blueberries? I reckon not that much, you think? A handful. Yeah. I can get, how much of that can I get in my mouth? I reckon like over half. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that was aggressive. It's <coughs> a great look. <laughs> get the camera away from me right now. Okay, she has this here. We can finish the cucumber. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah, I mean, it's a cucumber <laughs> consumption. Listen <laughs> to that cucumber, it's hands free. Multitasking, so. We're going to get him to bed. And the baby whisperer has worked his magic. You're welcome. Actually, yeah, I feel like that sounds quite creepy. Just baby whisper, let's just get rid of that. I'm in. Oh, we've come to a bush, aka a place called Unit One. Cool. They have food, and the rumor is that on Thursdays it's like pizza day. So fingers crossed, we get some pizza, mate. My size. I'm gonna scope out the size. Do you reckon one pizza will be enough? I'm gonna regret only getting one. If you and me, you would you only get one or two? What do you reckon? Okay, let's go. Let's go. I just get one pepperoni, please. Order is in. Two quick things. Firstly, Lucas brought his pens and paper to continue his. He's got like a homemade dinosaur slash monster encyclopedia. He's adding to it. Of course he is. Secondly, Mara's loving life right now. Guaranteed, the second the pizza turns up, absolute balling. <laughs> nice one. Thank you. Come on, look at the size of that. Yes. Getting two would have been a bold. Would have <laughs> that been would have been a bold been call. Okay. Coat's coming off, mate. I'm not playing around anymore. It's really hot. It's really hot. Right? My tolerance, like for temperature speaking, hot food is very poor. Uh, just got a message slash confirmation from the big dog. Nice. Gym Shark sale is happening on the 7th of June, which is a Monday at 7 p.m. Okay, so be ready. Stuff's gonna go very quickly. It's gonna be up to 50% off selected lines. It very rarely happens, so be ready to go. Be as ready as I am to burn my mouth with this slice of pizza right now. Not actually that bad. Anti climax. Imagine if we just took a massive bite out of there. Oh, that was a successful pizza trip. It's quite dark, mate. My house is dark. I think we're going to end the video here because, like, to be honest, we're, we're done in terms of what's happening. To yeah. you up to bed. Yeah, as much as, like, Luca and Marrow shower time. 
be great. Probably a bit weird to film that. Yeah, and they're going to bed. And then we're going to hang out and go to bed. So then we're done in terms of activities. I hope you enjoyed. It's obviously like more of a kind of raw, some would say less interesting <laughs> video. If you want to see more of this type of stuff, more just like actual real life stuff, then let me know. Any suggestions for videos generally, let me know because be honest, I'm running out of, I've run out of ideas like two years ago. So that'd be great. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Mario's crying, I need to go. I will see you tomorrow. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl in the toilet? So I don't pee. <laughs>